everyone and welcome back to Spore, where we are currently flying through the far reaches of space as the itty bitty teeny thin -aw. And actually we're doing quite well because I thought when we had our ship blown up just then, we would end up all the way back across the galaxy where we have our uh, home planet. But thankfully we didn't end up on our home planet. We actually ended up on Footnote, which is our military outpost. So totally embarrassing and very sad to note that we, uh, we ended up losing our ship and our ally, but we did take out one Grox planet. Not sustainable to lose our ship and all of our allies every time we take out a Grox planet. So I'm thinking we need to uh, readjust our expectations just a little bit. And we might focus on trade and exploration for a while longer and use our money to be able to pay off some of the more aggressive empires along the edge of the Grox border to do the fighting for us. We're spreaders of life, not spreaders of death and doom, but we can do what we, we can. And while we're here actually on footnote, it might be a very good time to add in some of those amazing new creatures that we discovered. Now that we're finally able to add in hundreds of new creatures from the Sporpedia, it has become one of my favorite things to do to get the DNA mixes that have been developed by you other amazing space explorers and putting it into our universe as well so i absolutely love it we got some really really cool ones that we're going to look up in just a little bit and we also need to finish off this little chain anyway so let's go ahead we need a little omnivore or or a little herbivore and the cosmic the color cosmic slug doesn't that just look amazing let's look at what the color cosmic slug is like so color Look at this color cosmic slug. It's a slug species, all right. It doesn't have any eyes. Can you imagine that? It's just a burst of amazing color. I love it. I love it. It's a little herbivore. So I think it probably eats mushrooms because all good herbivore slugs should eat mushrooms. So let's go ahead and we're gonna add this little guy right down here. There you go, little one. Oh, I actually want to change the color of the planet now. Um, so let's see. What if we made the color of the land? Oh, I was going to say actually yellow, but we don't have yellow. So let's make the color of the land blue. There we go. Give it a little bit of spice since there was absolutely nothing in terms of color down here. But there's our little cosmic slug. I hope he will breed successfully and spread many awesome cosmic slug slime trails across our planet i suppose there's some little mushrooms over here for him to eat and then let's come over here and we're going to put down our little jackalope there you go little buddy and if we look at the jackalope whoops -a -dops, let's see the jackalope looks really cool too oh my gosh we've got two jackalopes and this is a really awesome shy elusive and rare creature of the american west offspring are only born on april 1st loves to eat left-handed whoppers enjoys tending his spaghetti trees and reading telepathic email spends his winters at San safari island resort looks so awesome so i have no idea what he's going to eat on this planet but hopefully he'll prosper as well and then finally we have this amazing ma magma llama brasa so let's go ahead and put him down there we go just completed the ecosystems and let's look up this guy because the, the creations are just amazing look at him magma llama brasera that reminds me that we actually do have the ability to purchase we're ready we're ready to purchase uh lava streams of some kind now species eradicator terra seas can i get the terra lava from our own species i don't know if i'll be able to antimatter bombs capable of destroying what i'm gonna buy a few of those and see if we can poke the rocks again uber turrets Let's see, loyalty boosters, volcano. So we can build a little volcano, but we should have a ray. There's the super happy ray. Look at this, make a creature and collect five specimens of it in your cargo hold. Ooh, we can get all sorts of new things. That's why it's just so tempting. Ah, here we go. Terra mountain and Terra lava flows. So for the magma creature that we have just added to this planet, it feels only right that we should give it a little magma flow. Um, 
Let's see. Actually, I think this area would be as good as any. It looks like a good spot for a teensy bit of lava. Oh my gosh, it spreads really far. Oh, that's what it does. It doesn't actually make lava. It just makes like the ripples. So it, I guess, could we buy a volcano? Nice to see you, my friend. Let's see if we can purchase a volcano and what that does. Uh, we won't do it on this planet, because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know quite how that's going to end. I wonder if the volcano goes away. What I'm hoping is that the volcano will stick around to raise both the temperature and the atmosphere level. There we go. Goodbye, my friend. All right, now what we're going to do is search for that other Finna Empire, because there is a second Finna Empire, a break-off branch from our Finna Empire, who has different philosophies and life views, and I, I mean, we uplifted them. They're Finna. Oh, look at that. There's only two Groks left on there. That's fantastic. I just don't remember where we put the other Finna, and that's very distressing, because I could have sworn it was nearby, but I don't see them. There's one species there. Here's our little species at footnote. There's those guys. There's a little planet there. Oh, oh, it's these guys right here. The Autos. At Perplox 694. <gasps> we found them. Oh, this is our first contact with the second empire. Not our empire, but a whole secondary empire of Finna. Let's see how they've turned out. Oh, have such cute little voices. Thank you for helping us to transcend to the next level of physical and spiritual being. Well, you're just basically a colony of ours that no longer follows our edicts, so I'm glad I'm glad you're doing well. All right, tell me about your your view. All right, so these are basically Fena. I'm gonna say they follow the philosophy of harmony. So I'm going to say they didn't like how often we were going to war and fighting and the loss of life and the loss of constant allies' lives from fighting with the Groks. So they're a harmony species and they refuse to have anything to do with the battles or anything like that. So that's very good. We're gonna give them some gifts because they are our own species. And we still will establish like an alliance and a trade with them. But let's see. We're going to respect that they're just not, let's see, not within our own empire anymore. Oh, they're so cute. Can we buy things from them we can't get from our own empire? We can get some good embassies from them. That's rather nice. And they actually like yellow spice. And they have that nice purple planet, I remember. And we were gonna we're gonna absorb this one into our empire eventually, because it's a good purple spice planet with a good number of cities, which is hard to get on spice planets sometimes. Alright, so let's go ahead and on this old, old village, because you can see the outline of a village, we're going to leave an embassy to kind of keep in touch with the two different races. So there we go. Everybody should be good there. Up, up, up. Oh, Crean will be okay. Crean has fought off like so many pirates, it's ridiculous. But there we go. Here's our other little Finna. Another member of our little Finna family. And who are these guys? Ceremonial Castings Empire. What? Okay, we're gonna have to go look at those guys. And meanwhile, these Fina have settled themselves quite comfortably onto a little T-Zero planet. So we'll probably make them feel more comfortable by upgrading that later. What I want to do is start paying more people to fight the Groks. So we've got that going. Also, what's on here? Ooh, it's another little terraforming tool. Come to me, my dear. What abilities are you giving me? <gasps> crystal plateaus? How does that work? A crystal's kind of pointy and a plateau's kind of flat. Oh, actually, that that kind of answers both both things right there. I think the crystal hills are a little bit more exciting, though. Let's see, crystal chasm. What about crystal mountains? Whoa, they're moving and grooving. I wouldn't want to get in the way of those rays. Nice. I like it. I like the little crystal look. It suits this planet well. 
Speaking of planets, I have many planet names that must be used, so we'll have to address those in the future as well. But let's start paying off more people. Like you, my friends! Do you want to fight the Groks for me? Fighting's just another thing. Actually, let's go speak. Oh, actually, they look like a pretty hostile race. I think they're pretty. Yeah, they're Spode followers. These are the Spode followers. How you doing, my friend? All right. I need you to attack somebody for me. Why can't you reach them? Never mind. They can't reach the Groks. So let's get a little closer. Where's that Grox planet we're attacking? Are they still at war? <gasps> Ooh, look at that! They're doing it! Woohoo! Alright. I won't help them out right now because we just died from trying to help them out. But let's see. This is Andrelax. So let's see if we can encourage this species to fight the Grox down at Andrelax. Oh, Crean, you're supposed to be able to like defend yourself. Hey, little guys! I know you're so freaking cute! Uh, I want you to attack. Come on, come on. The Groks are like just to your left a little bit. That's very dangerous. Uh, I guess they don't really focus too much. I'm kind of tempted to take them on again. They aren't really controlling any planet that like I'm totally enchanted with and desperately want. Because these are all just red and yellow spice planets. What's this one? Hmm. So what I think we're going to do instead is we're going to try to become absolutely ridiculously rich right now like with this pink spice planet uplifting species and then taking them over would be a good idea but let's actually start back at our main area so we're going to go back to where our main hub of commerce is and i'm just kind of feeling that to prove that we can take care of everything as the finna we should blanket our control of these planets like, I want to be able to see nothing but blue after a while. I feel that we kind of, we've kind of proved ourselves as the superior race and that we should uh, be allowed to take over lots and lots of the planets. So, let's see. Oh, there's our little friends, our little friends up there. So, I think we're going to start buying out planets just because we can. <laughs> Which sounds kind of interesting, but I really do think we're going to start buying out the planets that we, that we really enjoy. We'll spruce them up, so we'll make it really nice, and then we will come and buy them out, because we need to start making lots and lots of money. So I want to start controlling vast parts of the empire and folding in some of the lesser empires into our control. So we're going to wage this war kind of long range a little bit. We'll kind of peck our way over, but it's difficult to determine where we control the territory if we don't have our territorial markers, you see? Of course, of course, that's what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to help the flits out over here. Whoa, just dodge that meteor. We're going to help the flits out over here by uplifting this planet. And this actually gives us a good ch like chance, let's see, to both raise the temperature and the atmosphere with this volcano. So let's see what it does. Whoa! <gasps> Look at how cool it is! Tell me it keeps going. It's just so awesome. Look at that volcano! That's like one of the coolest things I've ever seen! Imagine the kind of money we could have where we could just watch this all the time. Terraform and take over that way. We'll be awesome. Alright, get ready with the bushes. I'm ready. Woo! Watch out for the ash! Might need to get a little bit of distance from the volcano, but it's really awesome. Ah, oh, it's cooling off! No, little volcano! You are so awesome! I wanted to watch you, like, just continue to, to work on this planet, but okay. Alright, hot cloud cedar. Let's spruce it up some more. Keep going. Ouch! Flips, you've got a bit of an aggressive planet, but I'm going to tame it. And then I'll make it mine, because it's a purple spice planet. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Groomite. I don't know Groomite. There we go. Wonderful. So medium plant, small plant, uh, and then this plant. Stabilize the ecosystem. They should appreciate that. Oh, and then we've got the little we've got the little fans with us. Alright, and then let's put down this interesting cosmic slug. The jackalope again. And then the Xandri. 
There we go. Uh, destroying. Wait a second. That's not raiding for spice. That's destroying a planet system. Okay, we've got to actually, like, get on top of that part. I thought it was just spice raiding. Spice raiding we can afford, but destroying? Where? Where are we being attacked? Oh, that's too far, you guys. Hopefully they can bear with it. Ugh, the Groks must be attacking from all angles. They must utilize the wormholes to be able to launch attacks all over the galaxy. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I think we'll start several trade routes in various locations. And actually, I don't know. No, I don't think it'll change. No! Are you okay, little planet? Now that I think about it, because we didn't uplift these guys, I don't think it matters if we make it a T3 right now. Greetings, my friend! I would like to discuss uh, certain planetary trade route establishments. There we go. Yeah, we'll start getting trade routes established with a few of these empires. And, I mean, I don't even care if it's a red spice plant anymore. I just want it under my control. I suppose we've reached that point. I do love green spice, too. We've reached that particular point. Hello, Wobble Empire. How are you doing? A little trade route. There we go. Let's see. Anything good? Yeah, we're okay. Holy moly days! This is why! You guys... You guys just cannot... Cannot maintain, like, a little bit... Oh my gosh. The Pompal Empire is attacking. We uplifted them, so we're a little bit at fault for that one. But they cannot maintain themselves. They keep fighting amongst each other. So we're gonna take them all over. And then they can all follow one law, and everybody will be happy. Alright, so let's see. Don't you guys worry. You won't have a planet to fuss over for long. Alright, let's see. And the, they don't, don't worry, we're not going to do anything bad to them. We're just going to make sure that, you know, their entire empire follows our laws, and we'll stop fighting with each other. Ooh, there's some treasure over here. Hello, Nookies! How are you, my friends? No, that's way too cheap for purple spice. Let's get a trade route. There we go. So we've got multiple trade routes established. Oh, wait, they had some treasure down here, too. And yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep buying out basically the entire system. All right, what's this? Yay, it's another one! We're going to be terraforming masters. Let's see what this one is. Oh, it's the Sky Pinkinator. Well, this place doesn't have any atmosphere, but we'll turn the Sky Pink anyway. There you go. You get a little bit of atmosphere. Oh, little pink sparkles everywhere. That's awesome. All right. <sighs> well, it's difficult to figure out where to go from here. Because I do want to peck at the Grox some more, but they just keep whipping us. So I wonder if we should just focus on territorial expansion and lots of money for a little while. Hmm. Look at all the, the trade routes we've got going to one of our main planets right here. They're seeing a lot of business right now. Yeah, we don't have a, we actually don't have a very strong foothold right here. And I would like to see a stronger foothold here. So I suppose it's spice trading. That's not so fun as a exploration though. I really prefer a little bit of a in-depth exploration. Eh, there we go. Actually, we might be able to pull that off. I think we'll, we'll do a little bit of exploring while the trade routes establish themselves. And this will be kind of a slow burn project, kind of like trying to take over the Grox is turning out to be. So we'll go peck at the Grox a little bit more, and I think we'll uh, do a little bit of free-range exploring, just because that's always a good thing to do. You never know what amazing new species we now are capable of finding, too. Oh my gosh, like what's these guys? Okay, there's some treasure. We'll pick up the treasure and then we're going to check out the snow slug, Antarctic snow slugs. We're so uplifting them. We need to go plunk a little uplifter down by them. That's adorable. Snow slugs. Oh my gosh. Ah, and we found some treasure. Yeah, treasure exploring and oh, scroll of harmony. We should take that to the other Finna Empire. Exploration and tending to little planets. Ah, oh, there's a little Atlantic or Antarctic slug. 
It's so cute. This planet must be very warm for it though. So they have already hit tribal stage. So let's go ahead and fill out. Can we fill out? Okay. We're gonna sneak behind, like sneak a little distance so they don't see us. And we're going to air condition the planet a little bit. Because clearly it's way too warm. They're having a, a mild ice age and they don't know the cause of it. So they're probably doing a bunch of little dances in their villages right now. Like, wow, what's going on? What's going on? Don't worry, little guys, it'll be okay. All right, come on, just cool it off a little bit more. There we go. All right, good. All right, let's put down some plants real quietly so that they don't get, uh, there's just random plants that suddenly start showing up. That's not alarming at all either. Whoops, threw it right in the water. <laughs> That's not gonna help anything. There we go. Ooh, look, there's some creatures in there. Have we seen those creatures? Where's my scanner? I'm so excited, I can't even find my scanner. It's a little eggy. Look, he's got a little egg on his tail. I want one. I want one. Okay, apparently I want four in a tree. I am okay, I've got that tree. Thank you. All right, oh wow, the tree just landed like right upright. That's awesome. Well, let's introduce a couple new species into the area. I suppose the color cosmic slug will work. Seems kind of in like, uh, you know, nice enough little thing. And then let's put down, not the conks, they're not very nice. Let's put down, well, some Zandri wouldn't hurt. And then we need an omnivore, which would be the fans. Ah! You're supposed to be a little omnivore. Well, we're very close. We just need one more herbivore. How embarrassing. Let's go get one more herbivore. <gasps> Look at it turned into a pink planet. That's fascinating. And then we're going to uplift these guys. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and discover another species. And then we're going to uplift these little ones. And then I've really got to think about what we're going to tackle next. Finding the Grox is, you know, it's a great, uh, noble achievement, but at the same time, I kind of feel like owning every single planet is very tempting. It's difficult to explain. I kind of want to own this entire sector. Not every single planet in the whole universe, but this whole sector, I want it. So we're going to claim it. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time when we will go and fetch our Antarctic slugs one more little critter, perhaps from this unexplored planet. And then we will start claiming all of the edge galaxies and putting down quite a few trade routes so that we can take over all of these planets. I basically want to turn this into the center of like society in the whole universe. And that means we're going to incorporate all of these fighting, warring little empires into our own empire. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.